Hello and welcome back to the Fortnite D Q and A. My name's Lumen, and right now it's finally time to answer some questions. I I feel really bad because it has been way more than a fortnight since the previous Q and A, and I'm so sorry. Okay, I have not been uploading videos on the channel very much recently. I've just been going through some stuff here that has been incredibly, incredibly frustrating for me, and it's mostly to do with the internet. But then there was the Builders and the electricity and all sorts of other stuff going on as well. My PC having some technical issues that I had to sort out. Some of you guys may or may not know about that. I'm not going to get into it. If you guys want to ask specifically about it for the next Q&A, go ahead. You can ask what the most annoying thing was. You can ask what the most problematic thing was to deal with. What kept me up at night or whatever. Okay, I don't know. Or you can just ask anything else you'd like. Now. I also realize the questions that I'm going to be answering now are probably completely outdated, but we're going to go through them regardless, and we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to spend too much time on each of them, just because, again, the chances are I will not be giving you answers that you wanted. Maybe, maybe they aren't. Maybe they're timeless questions. We'll see. I haven't actually reviewed them or anything like that, so we're just going to jump straight in. If you guys want to know anything again, just feel free to ask. Go ahead, shoot. I will get the next Q&A up. In the next two weeks probably two weeks from now okay so it'll happen i have a good enough connection right now to be able to upload videos and stuff you may or may not have realized that there's actually stuff going up in the channel again and that's awesome okay that's really cool so let's jump in here again any questions you have leave them below as comments oh brandon Lumen, I wanted to know if you've ever heard of Seven Days to Die, Daisy Standalone, Armor 3, or Rust. If you haven't, I recommend you uh, playing these or checking them out. I'll be there when you're streaming, and for all of your videos. I'll be with you to the end. I'll be there when you're hitting milestones. I don't know where I'm going with this, but keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandon. That's, uh, it's really nice to hear. And, I mean, I just want to say thanks to... Anyone else that's actually still here? Because I realize that the whole dead channel thing is much more a thing right now than it's ever been. Because it's like, not like I've been uploading proper videos and stuff. I uploaded the Hearthstone videos, Dishonored's going up. Now I'm getting back into it, but the channel has not been doing great. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys that have actually stuck around. Okay, that's just... That's it. So thank you, Brandon, and everyone else. As for Seven Days to Die, I've never heard of that. Like, I, I don't know what that is, but I know what Daisy Standalone is, I know what Armor 3 is, and I know what Rust is. I don't think I own Rust, I don't think I've ever tried Rust yet, but I have seen some videos, like front page Reddit stuff, so it's probably stuff that all of you guys have seen as well, and it looks, it looks janky, and like broken, and... I don't want to say low quality, but it looks like something that one would expect when you're playing a mod for a game or whatever. I don't know, Rust just didn't look that good to me. Armor 3... I don't know, I, I've heard of and seen Armor 3 Life or something? I think it's called that, right? It's like a, a complete conversion of the game where people actually go and they live their life in-game. It's sort of like that that thing, Second Life. Or something but it's a mod for armor 3 I, if I'm not mistaken that's a thing that's a thing that people actually play I think I saw lyric playing it a while back so I know what armor 3 is and I know the mods for it and I know all that stuff uh, Daisy was for armor 3 wasn't it and then Daisy standalone I think I own that I think I played a little bit of it I I've spent some time in it I kind of enjoyed my time there but I haven't played it recently right now what I'm more excited for is Conan exiles that's a survival type game in the Conan world. I really enjoyed Age of Conan, the MMO. It released like, what is it, like five, six years ago? It was a long time ago, maybe it wasn't that long. But when it released, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. I just think that they didn't support it enough post-launch. Maybe it didn't do well enough at launch for them to be able to support it post-launch. I don't know what the, the deal was with that. Then it went free to play a while ago, like it was called Age of Conan Unchained or something, but 
I don't even know what happened to that game. I, I have no idea, but those people are making Conan Exiles now, and it's a survival type game. It looks like it could be really fun, and it looks like it's sort of the same thing as Seven Days to Die, DayZ, Armor 3, and Rust. But yeah, I mean, I'll definitely check these out at some point, probably on stream, but then I will probably also try and get some stream highlights and stuff on the YouTube channel. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Cortas. Hey Lumen. Wanted to ask if you plan on playing Endral Shards of Order. Is that actually what it's called now? Endral Shards of Order? The total conversion mod for Skyrim. For what I've seen, it seems to be right... The right kind of game for an explorer like you. And I also loved your Skyrim Let's Play. Cortas, I just want to say thank you to you for not asking about episode 200. <laughs> that's, that's great, thank you so much. I, uh, I've come to expect anything that has Skyrim in it to just be about Skyrim episode 200. I did recently download the special edition of Skyrim. I loaded that up and it looks cool. It looks really cool. I'm, I'm considering jumping in there soon. I, I'm just spending a bit of my time on, on other things right now. You may or may not have seen, as I said at the start, Dishonored is up on the channel. And soon, I think Deus Ex might go on the channel as well. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm working on stuff. I'm working on getting stuff up and running again slowly. And that is on my list. It's on like a, a short-ish list in a notepad that I've got on my desktop called Streaming. Which doesn't just have streaming stuff in. It's got Let's Play stuff, streaming stuff, uh, other stuff as well. But it's in there. It's in there. I know about it. I think, however, before I jump into that, I'll probably try Skyrim Special Edition first. Is it called Special Edition or Enhanced Edition or whatever it's called? I'll probably play a bit of that first, just vanilla, to see how that goes. Or maybe even a bit more Elder Scrolls Online or something like that. I don't know. But this might happen at some point. Okay? It might happen. Salat? Phonimul? Oh, oh! It's backwards! It's backwards. <laughs> That's Tales of Lumen backwards. Oh my god. Le Nimul I Wonk Seat Liu Eub. It's all backwards. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I need to. I need to concentrate for this one. This is from someone called Tales of Lumen, but backwards. So it says Salat Phonimul. Hi, Lumen. I won't... Oh. Hi, Lumen. I know this will be difficult to understand, but please bear with it. I'm you. Not you, you, but you from an... What is that word? Oh, alternate dim... That doesn't say... Oh, it says dimension. Alternate dimension. I need you to do something for me that is extremely important. Please take off your shirt and pose as a... What is that word? Oh, strong man. Wood. <laughs> In front of your camera. Oh. Can you do this? <laughs> no, I don't want to take my shirt off and pose like a strong man. How do they pose like this? Or like this. Or wait, no, it's like... Like this. Oh, God, I don't know. What, what, what kind of question is that? Is it extremely important that I do that? Extremely But Then you guys are going to see my terrible tan lines because I only wear vests outside. Oh. Don't put me on the spot like this. Salat. Phonimul. Don't, don't do it. What's that name? Come on. Come on. I did okay. 
I did okay. It's just like I, I recognize some of the words looking at them, but the rest of them, not so much. Strong man. As a strong man? You crazy. You, you crazy. Random, random. Hey, Lumen. What happens if Pinocchio says, my nose will grow now? What? Right! Okay. He'll probably just explode or something. Because that's like a... Not a double nigga. That's like a, a paradox. No? Is that the word I'm looking for? Because if you say... I, I get it. I get it. I get, it's one of those questions again. It's one of those, like, the chicken and the egg or something. Because if he says, my nose will grow now, and it doesn't grow, then it will grow because he's lying. But it won't grow because he's not lying because it's growing. Oh. So what happens? Maybe it just goes, wink, wah, wink, wah, like, back and forth the whole time. Can it even get smaller again? I don't even know, man. These are the questions. These are the questions that keep people like us up at night, right? <sighs> Haunting. The Pagan. Hey, Swin. The beard suits you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I need some positive reinforcement because I saw a question from Elisa below and she said I looked like a hobo. A, ho a homeless man on the previous Q&A. So I need some positive reinforcement. Okay, I need that in my life. I do. She said no offense and she did. she meant it in a, in a, in a friendly way. A non-harmful way and I get that. I've been called Hoberman many times before, and that's cool. So my question is, what happened to moving with uh, what happened with moving to Germany? And have you been watching the series Vikings and Flash by any chance? If yes, I'd love to hear your opinion about it. So I'll just start by saying that Flash, I have not caught up. So the last time I watched Flash was before the current season that's running now. So I haven't watched any of the current season. I don't know what season it is. Is it like three or something? I don't know. But at the end of that season. He traveled to the past and saved his mother. And that's that's where I stopped watching. I thought that was stupid. Okay, and it annoyed me that he even did that. And that's my thoughts on Flash. The show is fun. And the characters in the show are awesome. The actors and actresses they have in there seem to do a great job. I like it. I enjoy it. It's good action. It's good fun. And it's lighthearted. So it's not like... Arrow is sort of just serious. The whole time. Super serious. So I like that about it. I do. And I think that the Barry Allen that they have works well. Like, he, he fills the role nicely. It's a good Barry Allen. As for Vikings, I'm caught up with Vikings. I've watched the latest season of Vikings. I've watched everything up until the latest season of the Vikings. And I watched, like, the first two episodes, maybe? Awesome. One of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show, airing at the moment. I think that and Expanse are my two favorites. Although Expanse only had one season, there's another season coming up uh, early next year. Very excited about that. But Vikings is, it's great. It's really, really cool. I, I like how generational it has become in the latest seasons, where you have their sons and their sons' sons in the show. I... I think that the main actor, Travis Fimmel, as Ragnar, he pretty much makes the show. Him and yeah, Floki is amazing as well. Floki's awesome too. I have been enjoying it, like, thoroughly. So, so, so good. I, I love that show. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Much like, like Black Sails. If you've watched Black Sails and you enjoyed Black Sails, you'll probably enjoy Vikings as well. I mean, it's a completely different world that you're immersing yourself in there. The pirates and the Vikings. But it is, it is though. It is. You may think to yourself, pirates and Vikings have a lot in common, but not really. Okay? But the shows themselves, they have a lot in common. They are awesome. They are like Game of Thrones plus level. They are, in my opinion, better than Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has, I suppose, in recent seasons only, become a little bit... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to say too mainstream, but it feels like the episodes themselves have just been watered down so much and I mean it's still super good super super good I don't know I don't know they it just felt like they were showing people what they wanted to see in Game of Thrones which that's not really the same as being watered down I don't know where I'm going with that okay but I've not been enjoying Game of Thrones as much as I have been Vikings 
and as much as I enjoyed the expense and like black sails and stuff like that but maybe it's just me being a bigger fan of those themes I don't know but yeah Vikings man I love it so so good Jaws of Haha -ha. have you heard of Enderol here's another one wow okay so there are two people unless it's the same person Cortez are you Jaws of Haha -ha? hmm the new community game that was just released made of the Skyrim engine it's 30 to 100 hours of delicious Elder Scrolls gameplay. Just not. Will you look at it? See if it's adventure worthy or better worthy of a full let's play? I don't know. Uh, see my previous reply. I, man, if, the, if, it, if it's actually two different people now asking me about this, maybe it's, maybe it's worth checking out. Maybe I'll have to, like real soon. Uh, don't know. Next. This name is a, it's actually very rude in Afrikaans, but I don't think it's on purpose. Okay, I don't think that this is an Afrikaans person, but maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. The name is Deuce Push, and he asks, Hi, would it be possible to make t-shirts with your little cog with a heart in it logo on? That would look absolutely amazing. Warm hands. Warm hands to you too. I... I think so. I have been trying and trying and trying to to think of what I want to do for some new t-shirt. I'm, I'm wearing this one right now. What I want to do for, for new t-shirts and new merchandise and stuff. And I've got an amazing dude by the name of Super Kiak that joins me for almost every single live stream. And he's an artist. He's been drawing like really cool stuff for me. For me to use on the streams, for me to show off to everyone watching, and so on and so forth. He's an amazing artist. He has improved so much over the short period of time that I've known him. And he's definitely 100% going to be contributing to the upcoming t-shirts that I'm going to be having. I was just thinking to myself, like, what's the best way of doing it? I don't want to release another t-shirt to District Lines because a lot of you guys complained about the pricing and the shipping costs and so on and so forth. So I was hoping that I could maybe do it with Twitch, but then I need partnership with Twitch to do that. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Okay, and then for partnership on Twitch, I was gonna do that early in the new year. I was gonna apply for that then. So I might have to wait. I might have to wait a little bit, but I just wanna like put that out there and say, there's some really cool stuff. There are some really cool pieces of art on the Discord server that you can check out, the Tales of Lumen Discord server. There's actually a question about that coming up uh, soon, soon. And some of those pieces may or may not find their way onto t-shirts in the not-too-distant future. But I really do like the logo with a heart on it. I do. I do. What color t-shirt would that be on? Like, it would look amazing on a white t-shirt, but it could potentially look good on, on anything, right? I don't know. You guys can let me know what you'd like to see as merchandise because I need to do that. I I personally, I need to make a living from all of this and I would love more t-shirts. I want a Nero t-shirt, I want more logo t-shirts, I want other stuff as well. I just, I like it. I like the idea of it and it needs to happen. So thank you for bringing that up and if anyone else has anything to add, go ahead. Alan Omar, FTL background music? I didn't know you played FTL. Would be cool if you made a series out of it. It's a fun classic. Off topic. That's not off topic. And I've played FTL. I've got a playlist up. If you visit my channel and you go to playlists. I think you can like go to youtube.com slash tales of lumen. And you go to playlists. You'll find an FTL playlist there somewhere. Or you can just like Google FTL let's play lumen or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that'll find it. But that might. I played through FTL. It's like 25 episodes or 20 episodes or something around there. And it was pretty fun. Like, really good. I actually finished it. So, I'm proud of myself. Although, that was an earlier version of the game. I don't know. They've they've added new stuff. There's, like, an enhanced edition out as well. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. Okay, that's, just, that's what I'll say. Dracolac. Bugger off. Here, here, Lumen. What's your favorite? What? what? What's the bugger off about? Or did I say bugger off? I don't know. Well, well whatever. Whatever. Here, here, Dracolac. What's your favorite go-to comfort food? I love me a peanut butter and jam sani. I, I like peanut butter and honey quite a lot. I am not a big fan of peanut butter alone, but you put honey with that. It's awesome. It's amazing. I don't know what my go-to comfort food is. Okay, I don't know. 
And what is my go-to comfort food? Oh, butter and peanut butter and honey. <laughs> Did I do that? And she gets so un unimpressed with me. Not unhappy, not angry, but unimpressed with the fact that I put butter with my peanut butter and my honey. But I keep telling her, butter and peanut butter are not the same thing. Just because it's called peanut butter doesn't mean you don't put butter or margarine or whatever on there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what my go-to comfort food is. Like, I like... I just like a good cup of coffee. If I can have, like, a, a biscuit or a rusk or some sort of cookie or whatever with it, that would be amazing. But that's, like, every day it's nice if I can just have a good cup of coffee because it's, like, it's relaxing, it tastes great, feels good and warm in my tummy. What are you laughing at? You want... Oh, she's off coffee at the moment. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't talk about coffee. But if I had to say, like... Comfort food, I'd, I'd go coffee. Like, honestly, it's, I know it's not food, but it's the same kind of, it's a beverage. So it's it sort of works, right? For some reason, last night, I, I had a craving for coffee. I, I just wanted to have coffee. But no, like, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Lumen does not drink coffee after, like, I want to say 6 p.m., but I think nowadays it's like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. No coffee. So then I'm going to be lying awake at night. And that's not cool. It affects me. It really does. But yeah, I'd say coffee and, and something extra. Like, recently I had like a rice cake with peanut butter and honey on. Or I stole a, a cookie from my mother's kitchen. Or like, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, a guildy sent us some amazing snacks from Germany. <sighs> that like, gingerbready, um... Cookie finger thing. Oh, that was good. That was, that was really good. Dadish. Lumen. Do you have a Discord? Yes. It's linked below. Check it out. I think you know that already though. Because you... I know Dadish knows. I don't know. It's just... Whatever. Discord is linked below. Again. I did say at the start. Some of these would not be relevant anymore. Because, you know. Three months have passed. But whatever. Shadow Tales. The Warrior. Hey Lumen. How much latency do you get when gaming? A lot. Look, it depends on the game. And, like, I suppose it depends on whether or not it has local servers. And it depends on how well the game handles it. Because sometimes a lot of latency doesn't feel like a lot. At all. Overwatch is the go-to right now for really good netcode. Like, I can tell you, Overwatch, for me at least, it doesn't feel like anything. I play with 200 MS to Overwatch. Sometimes it goes down to 190, sometimes it goes up to 220. Doesn't matter. It's awesome. It's perfect. I think that the netcode that Blizzard have implemented with that game, the way they set it up and stuff, it just, it makes for an amazing experience no matter what you have. It's the whole favor the shooter thing. So like, even if you have 250 MS, if you click with hit scan hero, while your little crosshair is over someone's head, it will hit their head. It will. Unless your unless your latency is something like 500, I don't think it'll be a problem. So I play with like two international games. That's like World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, I guess, Heroes of the Storm, all the Blizzard stuff, Overwatch included. I I play with around 200, and it's it's perfect. It's playable. Games like Dota, Dota 2, they are actually South African servers for that. So like that's that's 50 ms maybe, maybe 30. It depends on like the time of day, what's going on, where the server is, I guess, but for games that have local servers, 20 to 50 maybe, and that feels just as good. It's awesome as well. Sometimes I don't want to play on the local servers though, so yeah, I instead play on the international ones, also works fine. But uh, yeah, we've gotten used to the high latency, it's not even really a big thing. Isaiah Garcia, can you do two, two playthroughs, high chaos and low chaos? This is referring to Dishonored, I imagine? Probably not. I don't think I'll do two. I think I'll just play the one and let it be what it is. If I accidentally kill someone, whatever, man. If I decide that, like, some other target needs to die because they are just a bad person, fine. It'll happen. I'm just gonna play the way I want to play it. And I usually want to play it sneaky, stealthy, so it'll mostly be low chaos because I want the, 
the better ending because that just makes me happy but the chances are i'll just play it once and it'll just be on on the edge of low chaos that's what i think at least i, I can't say maybe high chaos will be super fun we'll see Alyssa l plays okay here are some questions for you what top three improvements additions would you like to see for the next elder scrolls game for me it would be one a much better combat system something akin to dark souls or witcher two better animations for the player character and the npcs and three a new engine yeah the one they're using now does feel a little dated also would like to see something like a settlement slash crafting mode like fallout 4 has i love building things in fallout oh i love building things in fallout but it might feel out of place in an elder scrolls game keep your chin up lumen things will get better kill our Salai. i know that you're i know now that your old youtube profile was tali zora naraya i didn't know that before makes me feel kind of bad because like I, I i was speaking to you as if you were two different people but i didn't know that before it makes me happy that you're still around Elisa. it really does because we shared some good times yeah, back in the day and you've been around for long and i appreciate that it's good to see you it really is now and your questions i i haven't really played dark souls or witcher so i don't know how the combat is but I will agree with you there. I think that the hitboxes need some work. The models themselves need some work. The combat system does feel a little stiff. Which is... It's a problem. I think they can do better. I think that... <clears throat> Fallout 4... Was definitely a step up. Okay? But... Man. Would they make a new engine? I don't know. Like... In this day and age... A brand new engine... It's just, it might be too much work. Like, they can get away with using the same engine that they've been using. I mean, look at Fallout. Like, Fallout looked pretty good. You can see that it's a, it's a slightly outdated engine. You can see it's pretty old and so on. But it looked good. They did good with Fallout. It runs reasonably well, I think, on most PCs. And it kind of worked. Okay, but I, I, would, I would honestly appreciate a new engine because again you can just do so much more with it and going forward you know they've got the playstation 4 and the xbox one now so there's actually there's more to work with uh, let's just hope that they don't let those hold back what they do with a new engine sort of they should take the route that witcher went because witcher looks amazing right now and it still looks pretty good on the consoles as well anyway what my improvements i would say like definitely the combat and animations i'm green with you right there and hitboxes as well. And like, just movement in general. It feels really janky in Elder Scrolls. But maybe that's like, that's part of the charm of the game as well. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm not going to say it's a selling point. But I will tell you that all the weird bugs and stuff that happen in Elder Scrolls. It's definitely a talking point. Which leads to the game selling more. So, I don't know. I, don't, I won't say that they want it to be like that. But... I wouldn't be surprised if any future Elder Scrolls games also have similar bugs and, and funny things going on with them. But I would say for Elder Scrolls, I just want more story. Like something different as well. They, I want them to do something crazy with the next Elder Scrolls game. Which is a little weird to ask because Elder Scrolls is Elder Scrolls and if they do something crazy with it, then it's something else entirely but i want them to come up with something brand new and fresh for a story because i felt like and i mean no offense to skyrim i felt like the story was always second to the game and the gameplay in that and i think other games let's take the mass effect series as an example they just they nail it in the story department like that's 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 insanely good storytelling the Elder Scrolls storytelling, that's, uh, it's good, and the story is interesting, but I do think they can do better. So that's probably what, that's probably the main thing that I'd like to see. Also, I'd like to see everything in the game from the start, because, I mean, you're saying now you don't know if housing or, or uh, building or construction or stuff like that would work in Elder Scrolls, but I mean, it's sort of in there, to a certain extent, with the Hearthfire, it's called Hearthfire add-on, or DLC or whatever, it's sort of in there, but I'd like to see everything from skyrim in the next game already and then whatever they have new they can just put on top of that 
I don't want to see them release extras over time. Well, on that note, have you heard that there's a housing system coming to Elder Scrolls Online? That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I think they could do better with Elder Scrolls. I don't know when the next game's actually going to come out. Like, it's probably going to be a while until we see another Elder Scrolls game. I would be surprised if there's an announcement anytime soon. I would be very surprised. BF15. Question for the next Q&A. Hello again, Lumen. We all know you're an adventurer and an explorer, which is why my question is, where in the world would you like to visit or live? I live in Sweden, by the way, and it's very beautiful here. If you ever have the time to play Unravel, which is a stunning game, you will know why. Have an awesome day and keep on. There might be more after that that I just didn't put in here, but thanks. Thank you so much. Same to you. Same to you, indeed. Now, where would I want to visit live? I don't know. Like, that's really tough. I, I've, I've sort of had my views on all of this shifting a lot over the past couple of years. Well, over my entire life, actually. And like, deciding on a place where you'd want to live one day, like the ideal location to live, it's not that easy. As you get older, and as your requirements and what you want from life, and what you want for the other people in your life change, your whole view changes. So I don't, like right now, I can't even answer that properly. There are so many different places where I would happily live, but then there might be pots, there might be aspects of those places that would not appeal to my wife or to my papa or to our future child or to my family or anything like that. So it's always tough, you know? It's always really tough just snap deciding that's where I want to live, that's where I want to go. I mean, yeah, I want to I want to go to a lot of places. In my lifetime, I would like to travel a lot more than I have in recent years. It's just it's nice. It's cool. It's something that I wouldn't mind doing one day. Right now, we're not in a position where we can really do that or afford to do that, but at some point in the future, it would be nice. As for living, oh man, we live in here right now. I wish the internet was better. I wish the whole situation in this country was better, but it is what it is right now. And I don't mind it. I think it's pretty great. If the internet was better, it would be awesome. Okay, that would be, that would be amazing. If we had no technical issues whatsoever, this would be the perfect place to live. But, I mean, personally, myself, I wouldn't mind living in the US. I mean, the place, the country itself, is a lot like South Africa. It's got a very diverse set of states that have different weather in all of them. They have different types of people in all of them. I wouldn't even mind living there. In Europe, however, man, there are so many countries where I'd want to live. I've heard nothing but good things about, like, Italy and Spain and Portugal. And then, you guys... From the countries that are slightly further up north, Sweden, Finland, uh, I've heard a bunch of people, even just, I know it's not as far north, but even from the Frenchies amongst you, you've said nothing but good things to me. I, I mean, I keep hearing about Sweden and everyone says, we've got the fastest internet in the world. You should come live with us. That's awesome. That's amazing. I would I would not say no to any of those places personally, but making it happen, that's a different story. Germany as well. Like, that's great. Because I know lots of the language already. It would be awesome for us. Uh, on top of that, Asian countries. Dude. I'd love that as well. That would be amazing. I'd, I'd love to live in South Korea. That would be weird. Japan. Maybe not Japan. I think it's a little crowded there. But there are so many different places in this world that I want to visit and that I would live in that it's tough. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you. If an opportunity presented itself and it was something that I could do that everyone would be happy with, then I would jump on it. I would do it. So there you go. That's the final question. Hope you guys were okay with the answers. I'm sorry again that it was as late as it is. Like, it's bad, I know. The next one will be up in around two weeks from now, which is going to be a little weird. The timing might be a little strange because I'm recording this on the 18th and two weeks from now is the first. So maybe it'll be up like on the second or third, but around two weeks. So look out for that. If you have any questions for the next Q&A, please leave them below. 
I'd love to answer them. Thanks for watching. Check back here soon for more. Most importantly though, happy Fortnite DQ and A up and running again. <laughs> I'm so excited that I got it back up and running. It's good. It's good, and I'm I'm keen for your questions. Happy that.